I just stumbled upon this new database called as SurrealDB and I think this could be a good choice as a backend for our AI or agentic applications. In this video, we are going to install it locally and I will be showing you how you can use them with Olama based local free models. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and do me a favor and like the video. So what exactly is this Surreal DB? It is a native open source multi-model database that unifies relational, document, graph, time series, vector and geospatial data models within a single platform, all queryable through Surreal QL, which is a flexible SQL-like language. This actually reminds me of Oracle database of olden days where Oracle was trying to infuse everything into what one platform but this surreal db is quite lightweight its layered architecture if you look at this diagram shows you the complete picture in simple way it separates compute from storage with the query layer handling surreal ql parsing execution and transaction management while the storage layer manages data persistence through various engines like rocks db which is used for embedded data or maybe TIKV which is used for distributed or indexed DB which primarily is a browser based use case. This separation or segregation enables Surreal DB to scale from embedded applications running in memory or in web browsers to horizontally scalable distributed clusters. The system supports multiple deployment modes. You can Use it as a traditional backend database, a complete backend as a service with granular permissions or embedded directly into the applications, making it adaptable to diverse architectural requirements while maintaining asset compliance and supporting concurrent readers and writers. There could be a lot of use cases I will be discussing late, uh, you know, shortly, but for now, let's get right into the technical bits and pieces and see how it works. As I said, I'm going to use the Olama based local models. If you don't know what Olama is, just go to my channel, search with Olama. I have covered it in more than 1000 videos and I'm not exaggerating. I'm going to use the Super 2 system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 um, GPU of VRAM. I have Olama already installed and I have these models running. I might go with Gwen 3's 32 billion parameter model. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, so that is done. Let me start by creating a virtual environment with Konda so that everything remains separate. While that happens, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And you can find the link to their website in video's description too. And now let's install SurrealDB on this Ubuntu system or this command should work on any Linux flavor. So you see that it has installed. You can use it on Windows, Mac, or wherever you like. It is very lightweight, as I said and you can even go with docker if that is what you want to do and i have made it uh, to my local path so that i could access it and this is a version everything looks good and then from i'm just going to install some clients because i want to use it with python but you can use it with any other uh, sdk all the major sdks are supported and that is all done to and now let's start Surreal. I'm just going to use it in memory just for the uh, development and testing purposes. But you can use it with the persistent storage because as soon as you will close this, the data will be lost because it is in memory. But if you want to save your data on disk, which you would of course want for any production database or serious database, you should be using the persistent storage. Okay, so you can see that the Surreal database is now running um, and it is listening on this port 8000 it has also started its web server there at 
export 8000 if you please and i will let, just let this one run here um and i'm just going to use another window while it runs here and then you can of course access that endpoint from anywhere and when i access that um okay so it has given me this weirdly enough i'm just going to try to see if i can access it i'll do it in front of you so that we'll see what happens so as soon as i press that 8000 it redirects me to this cloud version which i'm not going to use i what i will do i will just use my python code in order to show you how it works so this is a python code which i have written as per the documentation and you can also check it out so all i'm doing here i'm using this local endpoint of olama and then i am connecting to this serial db on localhost which is already running from there primarily what i'm doing i am using this serial db as a vector store so i'm converting my text into numerical representations or vectors and then i am um, not only using you know olama based model to generate a summary converting it into vectors and then storing it there this is all i am doing of course you can use some vector model to some embedding model to there are heaps of them this is a simple document i'm using and this is where i am storing it in the uh, serial db okay so let's go back and i'm just going to open a new window and there you go as soon as i have run this code it's so quick it has quickly created a schema so primarily what we are doing we are creating a knowledge management system with ai powered um mechanism like we are using olama's ai model which is going 332 billion we are storing these documents in this serial db after creating the schema and this is a schema which it has created we are then storing the documents and this is a document store then ai chat is starting with olama based models which is talking to this serial db with the code which i showed you earlier and when it asks a question it has given it the answer it's a very you know rudimentary sort of chat pod which i have created on top of serial db with olama but you can see that it is very fast very lightweight all runs local in memory quite easily so pretty good uh, very happy with the speed especially on the local system let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for all the support as it helps a lot and as i keep saying that um, this is the only marketing i do so i would highly appreciate that if you support the channel towards the very end very very quickly i think that if you're looking for use cases for this sort of stuff i would highly recommend that uh, maybe if you have some sort of uh, agentic software with, where you are implementing multi-agent system you want to save the state maybe this could be a good option give it a go let me know in the comments thanks